South Africa today announced that if you are a dual citizen of Israel and South Africa and you served in the Israeli military, you will be arrested when you arrive in South Africa. Now, this is stunning. Arrested, right? Uh, it, it, because you're a South African citizen who's fought in Israel's war. This is stunning. Of course, that would mean, you know, my father, when he, if he, well, he probably will never go, but if he ever goes back to South Africa where he has two brothers and many, much family could be arrested. My father has fought in the Israeli army several wars and has dual citizenship. Um, I guess technically I could probably get South African citizenship. Maybe it's too late now, but I, thankfully I don't have it. Uh, but I fought in the Israeli military. Uh, and, and there were a lot of Israeli South African dual citizen. There was a very large Jewish community in South Africa that moved to Israel, that emigrated to Israel and kept their South African citizenship, and now they can get arrested if they go back to South Africa. I mean, it's truly pathetic. And... Um, setting that the world is basically taking a stand that basically is the equivalent of we'll kind of support you but we don't want you to win we'll support you but you know you're gonna have to you're gonna have to let the Palestinians survive in a sense as a viable political entity to fight again another day you're gonna have to let Something maybe it won't be called Hamas, but you have to let the Palestinians have some political. And it's stunning because you think the West would have learned from Afghanistan or Iraq? No, nothing. Uh, you think the the West would have learned from the complete and utter failures? Nothing. Israel's doing the job of the United States and the UK and Europe. Nothing. They 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 don't appreciate it at all. Uh, and. Um, Israel's not even asking. I mean, if you really think about it, this is a war that is much bigger than Israel's war. And if you really think about it, the United States should be involved in this war, and the United States should be active in this war in destroying Iran. Instead, the United States is build, busy building a floating dock off of the coast of Gaza so, uh, so that uh, ships can bring aid to the Gazans uh, on a daily basis uh, to feed the Gazan population. Why? What have the Gazans deserve, what have the Gazans done to deserve all this European aid and American aid? What have the Gazans done to, to deserve all this food and, and, uh, and, and money and, uh, I mean, all the money that they got in the past, it clearly went to building the tunnels, to, build, to, to buying the weapons that were used so horrifically on October 7th. Why is it that the world keeps arming these people? Why is it that the world keeps supporting them, supplying them, feeding them? And the answer is, the answer is obvious, I guess. The answer is altruism. It's the suffering that gives them a moral claim against the West. It's their poverty that gives them a claim against the wealth of Europe and the United States. It is the fact that they are hungry which makes them deserving of food. It is the fact that they are under attack by the Israelis which makes them deserving of European American protection. Altruism, altruism, altruism. Through and through. Through and through. And altruism is killing the West. Altruism is preventing the West from doing what is necessary uh, to win their wars in the Middle East, to, uh, uh, to, to deal with the West's enemies in the Middle East. It is altruism that prevents the West from winning any wars. And uh, it is altruism now that also, I mean, Israel itself is altruistic. It is altruism now that is um, costing Israel so much in blood and in, in youth. The blood of its youth, I guess.